It's a little bit. Steph is a Mark 1 Golf GTI with the white wall tires. Hey guys, a warm welcome back to the channel. Something slightly different for me today. We're gonna to check out a derelict mansion with my good buddy, the Bearded Explorer. Now the link here for me is that this place has about a hundred very, very cool, very different, uh, all kinds of cars outside in the grounds of this mansion. And well, some of them are just absolutely amazing. Anyway, we've just stopped to get some essentials. It's just up the road. Let's go and check this place out. So we are in the middle of a very, very nice area in this country. And you just wouldn't believe, I can't show you the house uh, for privacy reasons. Uh, the guy doesn't really want everyone to know where this is. I can show you the garden and this, for this kind of size plot around here, it's got to be over 5 million just for the land alone. Five, six, seven million wouldn't surprise me at all. But in this area is some amazing cars let's just have a quick look around and i'm going to show you <laughs> some of these incredible things everywhere you look around here there are cars just hidden i turn around there's another one behind a shed there's some outside like this but a lot of them are outside and that's the unfortunate part of it because they rust as you can see at the bottom of this jaguar look at this an iconic really very very cool jaguar here Beautiful shape. I love these cars. Not it, it, when they're restored, a decent one of these. They're not so expensive, uh, but they just look at the wire wheels on these. So, so cool. I can imagine just driving around in a like uh, maybe a blacked out one of these old Jags. Look at that. That's one. Let's go and have a look. There's several of these just parked around. For example, another one here. Look at this. Again, it hasn't got the wire wheels on this one. Caps there. Still very, very cool indeed. But look, rust. This one's locked. Just, just details like this, the old door handles. The little vented, the vented windows here. The wing mirrors actually on the wings. Very, very cool look. Just the Lucas rear view mirror there inside the car. Don't make them like these anymore. So that's Jaguar number two. Next to it, another one. Again, stripped out, probably used for parts this one to fix. A third one or a fourth one around here. One, two, three. No floor down there. So it's just started to rain. Colin, what do you think, mate? Would you do so this? What? I really like it, but I just can't get over how small it is. I love the fact I it is like small. I pick it up and put it in my pocket. Yeah? I think it is a very cool looking car. And I don't think it's that far gone that this wouldn't take too long, too much. No, not really. As long as this is not seized. Yeah. Um, Obviously where it's a, a T TII, it's um, yeah, a bit more desirable. And it's got a clock, that's the only yeah. difference. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. But, you know, it's solid. There's a little bit of rust down inside, but Nothing. I think that's from a missing area. That's right, that's here, isn't it? Yeah, so there's a hole down here, and unfortunately, that yeah. is letting in some water. But other than that, you know, look at this. Solid, this would be an amazing Petite. clean up. Petite. Clean up to start with. Yeah. I love little details like this. Look Here's at lovely. that. How cool does that tail light look? I don't just, make them like they used to. It's just small, diddy. Yeah and purposeful yeah this, this, this just imagine this restored on the road that would turn heads it's a yeah, great it's looking car it's just it's just, a, it's just just so squared yeah. there's nothing to it what if that's open all right that's imagine this with a naughty engine in it you could easily do it no, couldn't you yeah. 
Let's have a look on the inside. Can we open it up? Yeah, 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 it should open. Yeah. It's a little bit stiff, but... Love that. I think he's planning to restore this at some point, so... Um... But it's, it's all there, it's all it's original. All look at the yeah. seats. Mine is pretty <laughs> Look at the six by nine speakers on the <laughs> parcel <laughs> shelf. That's not original, but <laughs> still very period. Oh, I love it. Just so simple. It says yeah. 31,000 miles on it. That's kilometers. Kilometers, oh yeah, yeah obviously left hand, yeah, yeah. left hand drive. I just love it. I love the little details like just the shifter. Yeah. And these doors, look, tiny slim doors like that. Look at the size of the handles, the handles yeah. are huge. <laughs> handles are huge. Yeah, I'd, love, I'd love to do something like this. Yeah. And like I said, I don't think it would be too bad to do it. No, this it, is I think definitely... just sort out that rust to start with yeah. down there, which is just putting a plate in there. Uh, oh, a little bit stiff. There you go. <laughs> and then this goes there. That's it, that's the uh, current door lock. Yeah. Imagine this with a cool, let's say, M3 engine or a much bigger engine, modern engine in that. What do they do? The, the 2002 turbos? Yeah. Yeah, they're what, what size engines were they? Same car, but with a turbocharger. Yeah. And... Well, there's our Jags, and then we come across here, we've got a Jensen Healy. I don't really know much about this car. Interesting one. Big rubber bumpers on the back. So I can only presume this has come from the US. Only you guys over across the pond would do this to a car, a massive big rubber bumper. Same as my 308s when they came back over here, we converted one of those. Interesting with the wheels. Pretty cool. Again, look, a bit of a clean up there. They would be like new. I don't know if you can see that in there. Again, complete car. This reminds me of my BBI. This is exactly what the BBI looked like on the outside. And once we'd uh, got the jet wash to that and given it a clean up, got the snow foam on it, it came up remarkably well. This car actually looks not too bad. Rubber bumper on the front again. Picnic table rubber bumper. Sovereign, you've got a load of acorns coming out of the trees. That's the noises you can hear. Then, I like this. This is a Mark 1 Golf GTI, and I actually had one exactly the same as this, same colour. I wonder if it's open. It's not open. Is it open? What a shame. No, it's not open. And then we come, look at this guys, this is a little beauty, I would love this car, in fact, not long ago, about five years ago, I had one of these and unfortunately I had to sell it, it was exactly the same colour, it was a Mark 1 GTI, this, very original, hasn't been messed around with, original grille as well, love these wheels, not many people do, but I think they look great, let's see if the car is open. Oh, it is. Now this seat is clearly, this is the same spec as the one that I had, same interior. The dash. Great project. Again, these things do suffer with a bit of rust, but uh, it's all there. Non-sunroof. No one's even tried to put a sunroof on this one. I like it. This would be a great project. What do you think, guys? Do you think this on the channel some point doing a restoration on a mark one golf gti really really cool car i say they rust this one from what i can see at the moment doesn't look too bad someone's done some work on it bit of a ding there obviously you'd have to get right underneath the car and it's been set outside but uh, a bit of a light problem over there but Someone's taken the badges off. I like this one guys, I really do. We've got some kind of VW transporter behind this one. And uh, one of the cool things that we found out about this, let me lift this up. We've got all of that area under there with some 
crazy storage. <coughs> storage in there this will make a good project as well you can have a lot of fun with making something here the kids my kids want me to do something like this back seats front seats and then you can have fun with the rest of the car like this Now, this looks like a Wayne's World car. <laughs> These things are cute. Old Honda. Look at that. Right hand drive as well. It, does it open? No, unfortunately not. Things like that on the roof. Just look, guys. Look at that view. Now, I can't show you the exterior of the house for location privacy reasons, but I can show you the inside. As we take a look around, sadly you'll notice the state of the decor, which a few years back the mansion suffered from a very bad flood, and it's since fallen into a state beyond economical repair. Walking around is dangerous, the floors are badly rotten, and you feel like you're walking on a trampoline that might give way at any moment and you fall straight through that floor. There are holes in the ceiling, plaster is coming off the walls, but it still has a beautiful charm about it, and I can't help but think just how this would have looked back in the glory days before the flood. Now as with cars, I am a sucker for a rundown project and fixing up this amazing mansion would be a dream come true. It has so much potential, but unfortunately, it would be what's known as a money pit and you would need to have very, very deep pockets to save this one. The house is actually an old Tudor mansion complete with stunning features both inside and out, including things such as sun balconies, turrets for chimneys, spires, beautiful architecture, hidden staircases, too many rooms to even count, it's the stuff of fairy tales, there's even an indoor swimming pool which unsurprisingly now has a couple of cars housed in it. I think it's just so quirky. <laughs> The house even comes complete with its own ghost story. The owner who built the house sadly passed away many, many years ago and upon entering the mansion, you should politely greet her. Otherwise, strange things start to happen. Naturally, I said my pleasantries before showing you guys around on camera. Oh God. What's up? What's up? Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> White RS2. Yeah, they are. Is that XR2? Yeah. He's XR2 got Pepperpot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, He's got some RS alloys, doesn't he, somewhere? Yeah, there. Yeah. There's yeah. a four of them there. Yeah, yeah. white ones, yeah. yeah. Look pretty mint, though, see? Many of the rooms are now unsurprisingly full of car parts, and most of those are actually very rare items, and it's a surprise to see them just sat around in this location. Anyway, let's head back outside and see what other hidden treasures we can find in the grounds. Then we come to this area here and we've got some really, really cool stuff. TR6 here. Now, it depends how brave you are. Is this too far gone? A classic car, for sure. Look, a lot of rot on this one. No roof, no interior, a lot of rust everywhere. But, still worth a lot of money as a parts car like this, you know, rear lights, bumpers, chrome bumpers, that is a clean chrome bumper, a little bit of a ding there. Wheels, set of wheels, doors, look at that. And then we've got another Jaguar here. These things, with the white wall tyres, so cool. Rear screen popping out there. This one is another same one. Look at this. We've got one. We've got two. Surely you can make a good one out of the two here. Or 
most of a good one. You guys are probably going to spot a lot of stuff that I'm not necessarily going to talk about in this video, but look at this. That is kind of a mini, what, Corvette kind of thing. There's one there. There's also another body shell over there. Another Jaguar here. That's a real cool one as well. There must be enough Jaguars like this to make an absolute beauty. Jag. Jag. Mercedes. There's another, is it a Daimler? Or is it a Jag over there? One over this side I really want to show you because this is... Uh, taking my fancy check this out so we've got a vandam pla 4.2 over here but this one this daimler and i think the other one's a daimler as well the one i just pointed out over there this is a coupe and these things really are quite cool right hand drive as well is it open it is open look at that okay Smells probably cool in there as well, nothing major. There's a bit of rust on this one. It would need some work, but no idea with the engine state. I don't know when it was last on the road, but as a coupe, a really, really cool car. You can have some fun with this one. Let's see if I can pull up a picture of one of these looking cool. This is cool. What was this? A 49? 1949? Something like that? Yeah, I think it's a 49. I think it's a 1949. Just a proper old school. Look at the dash. I love things like this. Iconic classic grille there in the front. All the chrome. These domed indicators. Bosch, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. It's all of this, just the details like this. Handbrake. Oh yeah, look at that. Collins found something interesting. He's got his eye on this car. Shit. <laughs> that is a beast. I think he wants to bite me as well. Yeah, he's not happy with you. Pick him up. No, I'm trying to. Put him down your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you've disturbed his house. Look at well, all I this. He's been busy. When I shut the door. He's been busy making this for many, many years. Yeah, they do. They actually yeah. bite you, those ones, yeah. They've got some big ass teeth on them. Oh, yeah, look at that. These are cool. There's about three of these kicking around. And uh, I think that is a really, really cool car. Legacy. Subaru Legacy. We've had some vandals in who have come in here and jumped on the windscreen and just uh, been little shits, if I'm honest. But um, what a shame. Schnitzer. This is a proper... Gangster car. Is it open? It's not open. Full lever. Again, okay, these are like becoming collectible. Yeah, really I quite like it in this colour as well. Yeah. It's quite raw. Original colour as well, right? Is it? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, apparently. Oh, I guess it would have been resprayed. It's such a nice, like, agricultural it is, sort of classic yeah. look. Isn't it? Yeah. The, when they updated them to the. Uh, it's a bit odd looking, aren't they? The current yeah. generation ones. Mm. Yeah, Smell it. Yeah, I was just going to say, smells new. It's got Herm's leather. Is it? Yeah, Herm, Hermit's leather. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. Is it a driver? Yeah. B6 got a straight six in it. Straight six fuel in it. And this, look! Anyway, oh, th this, this is it with you, Honestly, is it Colin? One of these? Mate, this is something else. This this really is. It's a nice it car. It really yeah. is. 
very, very clean. What's the mileage? 80,000 kilometers, isn't it? 80 something? Is it? No, 99. 99,000 kilometers, but if you asked me, I would never have said this had done 100,000 kilometers. No. So if one's not enough, the way you do it is you double up and get another one. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Well guys, that is literally scratching the surface. I reckon there's a good 70 plus more cars hidden away on the grounds there that I didn't get to show you today. Now I've got to say a massive thanks to Jerry for allowing me to film the cars and the house and share that with you guys, along with my good friend Colin, the bearded explorer, and his buddy Ben for taking me away on that adventure today. I really enjoyed it. I know it's something different for you guys. Now most of those cars were, or are, available for the right price now i'm very very tempted on one in particular that mark one golf gti i really really like that because i had something so similar a few years ago that i had to sell and uh the car is so original anyway let me know what you think uh which one would you go for drop it in the comments below anyway i'm going to wrap up today we've got some more bbi content coming uh later this week and also the final video on the uh, challenge Stradale rebuild until then guys stay safe check out what i get up to on a daily basis over on my socials and i will see you very shortly in the next one ciao for now